My friend Rick Ector joins me now. And Rick, uh, you know, you heard me say, I, I'm so glad that you are out there educating women, equipping them, training them, and helping them to really, you know, understand firearms and have the confidence to carry. And if heaven forbid, they got to call on that skill set they learned from you to be able to defend themselves using what they've learned. Um, you're, you're very generous with your time, and we are so grateful for you. Thank you for doing this every year. Not a problem. Thank you for having me. This program is uh, the single most important thing that uh, I've ever done. And uh, to be able to give back to the community and to provide women with free training, it means everything to me and it does to all the women that participate. Yes, it does. And and I and I know that because you've uh, just how many women you've you we've talked about this before, but now I mean, we're in a brand new year and you've already gone through, you know, several years of, of, of programs and of training. How many women do you think so that you have that have gone through this program in the past decade? Uh, easily, uh, I, I'm uh, probably 10,000 uh, when you consider what we're going to do 4,000 this uh, well, this upcoming uh, August. But, uh, you know, the, the, the numbers aren't really important. It's the fact that we can find women who uh, feel that this training is valuable and that they wish to avail themselves of it. You know, we're more than happy to put it on and we're, we're graced by their attendance. Yes, there, and we're talking to our friend Rick Ector, DetroitCCW.com, and he's been doing this for a decade, training uh, women to use firearms and making them so that they, they have the knowledge to be comfortable and confident with their skill set. And I've noticed, too, in everything that I've seen just, you know, on social media, I mean, these are women of all ages. It's not just younger women, and it's not just older women either. Tell us a little bit about the women that you, that, that, that come through your doors, and what are their, what are their biggest concerns? What, what do you hear the most from them? Well, the women that attend the program, they hit every demographic, every age group, uh, every stage of life from uh, very young at 12 years of age. And we've had, I believe, our oldest uh, student come through approximately 72 years of age uh, a couple of years ago. And they all share the common concern of wanting to take on a more active role in their personal protection. And I am truly honored that they heard about the program and that they helped pass the word and that they actually attended it. The greatest thing that I see from the attendees is a sense of empowerment and confidence when they leave and just seeing them with their pictures and their silhouettes all over social media, it's an awesome thing to see. It is an awesome thing to see. And I, I mean, you and you go over, and I, we'll talk about the training too, you go over, I mean, the basics. I know that you, you talk to folks and you, you instruct them about, you know, some of the legal aspects of this too and what it means. And then, you know, you tell, tell folks like what, what can they expect when they, when they go through your course? You know, uh, when you consider the sheer volume of people that we're training, I, I wish it could be more involved. However, we start out with a basic fundamental uh, range safety briefing. And during that range safety briefing, they're taught the fundamentals of firearm safety and gun handling and pretty mm -hmm. much get them geared up to what to expect. Uh, in terms of the actual legalities of lethal force usage, that's a little outside the scope. This is more of an introductory, get your big toe wet and uh, see how it feels. And if you wish to pursue something down the road, you at least have this experience to look back on and say, hey, I have an understanding as to what it's all about. Right. It really removes the mystery because I would imagine, I mean, what do you, do you, are these mostly just people, women who have never gone into a range before, women who've never fired a gun before? Typically, the vast majority of them have never had any experiences with a firearm and didn't have anyone to turn to. We do have women who have come to this event in prior years, and they uh, actually bring people with them. One year, someone might go by themselves, and the next year, they'll probably bring their their children or maybe even a parent or their next door neighbor. Uh, a lot of the growth has been organic, but uh, however we grow, uh, we'll take it. Last year, we were fortunate to have uh, just under 2,000 attendees, and we thought if we uh, add two more gun ranges on an additional day, maybe we can double that number and hit 4,000. So hopefully we'll get the word out, and hopefully we can sufficiently embolden women to take us up on our offer. 
No, that's a, it, it's an awesome thing to see, Rick. I, and all the photos that I see of women who are showing, you know, they're holding up their silhouettes and you know, showing their groupings and that. I mean, these are women who, they, the expression on their faces is pretty indescribable. They all, they, they seem not only, they seem proud, they seem happy, and they, they look confident. And that's really ultimately, talk a little bit about what you observe like when they first start to when they get these pictures and they're at the end of the course. Uh, it's a, an incredible thing to see. I mean, you come in and uh, they really have no idea of what to expect. For many, it will be their first hands-on experience with a firearm. Who knows what they've read in the news media or some of the mm. images they've seen on television. But we assume absolutely nothing. We hold them by the hand. We encourage them. We give them some great fundamental firearm safety. And they go through and they're paired up one-on-one -on -one with the firearms instructor. They shoot. And right after the experience, I mean, just to watch the transformation that many of these women undergo, it is truly a sight to behold. And uh, they have great things to say about it. And they start posting all of their pictures online. And uh, it spurs uh, organic growth. And hopefully that growth will hit us to 4,000 this year.